I've never seen anything that big. I've seen them. I've seen. Good morning everybody, welcome to a new video. Today is gonna be a little bit chilled one because we didn't know really what to do. But we almost forgot to do one of the uh, iconic things here in Kapol Island. And that is riding the motorbikes. They're the longest I've seen in the Philippines. Carrying up to I think eight or nine people. So the foreign germs, we're gonna try to do that. Some of us are, are quite big so <laughs> we'll see how many we can fit on the bike. Anyways. This is our view. And some of us actually slept here last night, outside. Look at that. Is it the only one you've seen in the Philippines? That long, yes. Yeah, same here. So we're gonna go downtown, try to rent one, and then after that, see the We got one already, man. We got one. Yeah, it's our Ooh. Suki. Yeah, it's right there. Go see it. Go <laughs> take a look at it. Let's go check it out. Hello, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pick the front seat first because it's a metal one. So we wanna protect our eggs. Nice one. You know what guys, I joked about it earlier that I'm gonna be in the front to save my eggs, protect them. But apparently uh, that spot is taken, so I'll just be at the end. <laughs> So this is a place where I stopped yesterday for the Halo Halo over there but apparently Kul is telling us that that area of town is something we should definitely go explore and the eggs are good <laughs> It was actually a smooth ride way smoother than my bike, Skylabs and all those Incredible This has to be the biggest fishing rod net I've ever seen and that will be the seeing something for the very first time of the day here in the Philippines all right, we're walking out to this coral beach, going a little bit further. Entrance 10 pesos. Hopefully there's gonna be some white sand here. Oh, this is nice. Maybe we'll borrow some of these huts. Whoa, cool area. Very nice spot here in Kabul on the furthest southern tip. Only a short walk to this area where you can get your cottage for only 10 pesos, I think. Or is the entrance? I don't know sure. We haven't found anyone to pay, but um, yeah. Anyways, that's the press. And we're gonna go walk all the way down that beach to the big black rock thing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Guma? <laughs> You can actually see where everything drops. Yeah, I know, so we'll man. Go out to where that black buoy is. We'll walk out straight, like maybe 40 feet, and then we'll just coast down. Let's do it.
Idaho. Alright, me and Brad are gonna go out and do some swimming, try to find some cool corals and fishes. And here's a little bit interesting fact about this island I probably haven't mentioned before. It's a historical one in uh, terms of trading routes. The galleons in the 1600s, the Spaniards, used to stop over here before they went on all the way to Mexico. Crazy. Deep. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. A bit chilly. Wow. Wow. Whoa! It's way more chilly here than the other side. Yeah, what? <laughs> wow, we're not even a few meters in and stunning corals here. Wow! That's crazy! We're like five meters in! I know! <laughs> Already! Ladies and gentlemen, that is the world's most deadliest snake and by far the biggest one I've ever seen. I've seen them many times but that one was huge. It is by far, by far, the biggest sea snake I've ever seen in my life. Freaking huge! And what's a little bit of scary about this is that he is hunting. He is searching for food. They obviously don't attack humans unless you uh, corner them into a trap. That's where they bite back, but usually the teeth are too small to penetrate the skin. But however, this snake is so freaking big that I can see it easily go through our skin. I've never seen such a big snake, man. That was mind-blowing. I was diving deep to pick up this uh, shell thing. Did you see that? 
see that? No. It's like a massive shell. So I was diving in there, and as I was about to pick it up, Brad is like screaming. <laughs> oh, he must be talking about dolphins. You know, we were talking about dolphins before. And then I'm like looking, trying to find Brad. It's like, I'm there, 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 there. And then there's this massive snake. I've never seen anything that big. I've seen them. I've seen a lot, especially when we were talking about uh, in Kotal. They're, yes. they're very common there, but they're not big at all. They're so That was like the thing. <laughs> Long one, man. That was scary. I'm right, leaving this beautiful spot. Quick stuff over here. Cooling down in the ocean and checking out the environment, of course. Thank you. Come again. This is where I got Halo Halo yesterday. Oh. Hey! Hey guys! Hello. <laughs> so I've come to this spot here by the beach. And apparently this is the hot spot of the island. I mean the best signal. So we're able to perhaps upload one video here. And by the time you see this video, <laughs> who knows how long it's been? Probably at least a week or something. But uh, yeah, it's funny that it seems like... Is this the best signal here? Best signal? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it seems so because other people are using their phones over here. So uh, we're going to upload a video and then catch the sunset at the lighthouse again. Maybe in 30 minutes we'll dry over. Could be funny. Look guys. We got my phone and my laptop I'm trying to upload. So me and Brett came back to the lighthouse for the final shots of the day. And this sunset is gonna be the best so far. I know it because I can tell it from these clouds right now. These kind of soft spread out clouds are the best ones. All right, me and Brett came back to the lighthouse for this epic sunset. I know it's gonna be epic because you can see the clouds behind me. They're kind of scattered. Thin, which is gonna create the I've most epic sunset. There we go. I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial. Cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard. I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard sunset at the lighthouse at the northern point tip of Kabul. We are going back to camp, catch a late dinner and then end of the log. Stunning, Philippines, the best sunsets. Alright guys, it's time to eat amazing Filipino food by John D, the master chef. We've got squash, some leftovers from the big deep fried fish, amazing sauce, more squash. Chicken, 
rice. It's been a good day guys. What a trip on those bikes. We're gonna end the vlog here and tomorrow we're gonna go some island hopping around the San Vicente Islands, which has never been featured before in a foreign vlog. So we're gonna be one of the first to, maybe the first to do that. So thank you guys for watching and until next time, peace out.